Hey, Tai here. So welcome to the VRTech channel. So we have so many things to talk about today. The first one is a new way to play PC VR games and have a frame rate with the Oculus Quest 2, a new order of lenses for the PSVR 2 and the Oculus Quest 2 Pro maybe? The file explorer is finally arriving to V29 and well more. So let's get into it. As always, a little plug for the video. They are very, very, very close to reach 100K, like very close. So remember that when you get there, we're gonna start to give away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year. So the sooner, the better. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And of course, to enjoy the video. Very close. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with the big thing, the ability to play PC VR games on the Oculus Quest 2 with half of frame rate on the PC, but full frame rate on the Oculus Quest 2. And well, Guy from Virtual Desktop actually did it again. I don't know what this guy do, but every time it's something new that beats Oculus in their own game. Collaborated directly with Qualcomm to bring a new technology that they developed, Synchronous Space Warp SSW, to actually extrapolate and double the frame rate in headsets of the PC VR games running an half of the frame rate. Now, this might sound familiar to you because Oculus already does that, but on the PC side, using a Synchronous Space Warp ASW. And these two technologies are very similar because they create a frame in the middle, so they're gonna be able to double the frame rate over the time in base of the movement of the headset when playing games. So what's the difference here? Well, while ASW actually works on the PC, so it's gonna use some VRAM and some PC power to actually create this double frame rate using SSW, so directly on the Oculus Quest, that let's remember is not doing much while it's receiving the image from the game that is running actually on the PC, is able to double the frame rate in asset directly and free some of the performance that are happening on the PC. So that means they're gonna be able to play games in a higher frame rate, even if you're playing them at half of the frame rate without compromising any performance. Now I'm using this thing from yesterday, I was testing with him and the results are very, very good. You can see in the video comparison that he did directly comparing ASW with SSW and I have to say that yeah it looks a bit better in the case but I also noticed that in some cases instead where you have flat uh, menus and something uh, the image uh, tends to vibrate a bit something that is not really game breaking or something but I think that you need to be aware of it I played some No Man's Sky that is famous to have very bad frame rate and I would say that at the point I was running at 45 FPS without any problem on the PC uh, while I was having the full resolution and full frame rate on the Oculus Quest 2. Of course, it's gonna work with 120, 90 hertz, 72 hertz, 60, and whatever, it's possible. But I really recommend to use it with 90 or 120 FPS. That means that the game is gonna run at 60, in the case of 120 FPS, or at 45 there. Because if you go lower, it's gonna be harder for the Oculus Quest to understand the frames to fill there. I also think that this addition is absolutely fantastic because as you might know, Virtual Desktop doesn't do any checking on your PC if it's powerful enough to play some games. And so this is a real story. My brother used to play a set of course on a very old PC with an a laptop with a 960M, so a more than five years old graphic card. And with Link or Air Link, it was impossible to play because, well, it wasn't supported. Instead, with Virtual Desktop, it was able to play uh, directly. What's in for him in this case? Well, now nothing because it has a better PC, but if you kept that PC now, it will be able to raise the graphic quality and have a better experience overall because instead of running at 90 Hertz with very low graphic, it will be able to run at 45 Hertz with uh, higher graphics. So yeah, if you don't have a super powerful PC, this is amazing for you. So again, genius, great job, guy. But let's get to the second part of the video because it's very interesting because from an internal report, it seems like PlayStation and Oculus are actually buying a lot, and I mean a lot of new lenses. Now, what are these new lenses? We don't really know. We just know that they put down big orders. So uh, that gives you two particular ideas. The first one is PSVR 2 might arrive in 2022 already. And that was, I was expecting anyway, we have uh, new pictures with the controllers. Uh, PlayStation is very open about the fact that it's working on it. New lenses, new technology might actually mean that we have a 
bigger FOV and well a better quality overall to support the new screens of course. As I said bringing a new headset with a new console would be a suicide because people don't want to spend double and we also know that now it's impossible to buy any console anyway so having it in 2022 is a great thing of course. On the Oculus part well we have all the rumors about the Oculus Quest 2 Pro uh, that was rumored directly from Boss from different interviews. Now the Oculus Quest 3 they said it doesn't exist yet but the Pro 2 is on the work and it might include like eye tracking for example and a bigger FOV with higher resolution screen so that's what are the lenses for. Now these are still rumors so take it with a grain of salt but it was considered 77% accurate so it might actually happen and gives a glimpse about the fact that we're not going to see a new Oculus Quest this year so if you wanted to buy an Oculus Quest 2 well you have still time for it and it's still an amazing asset so don't worry about it go for it. All right, so it took a while to get it, but finally the File Explorer is arriving on the Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2 v V29. If we didn't get it yet, well, I made a guide on now to update it directly. So check it out in the description below. But yeah, this is it. So you're gonna find it now in the applications. Uh, when you click on open, well, we're gonna have this new um, interface pretty much. Uh, we have the recent with all the recent videos uh, that uh, you took and uh, now you can share, view the info directly of video, right? Resolution, duration and stuff. And uh, well, just delete it. Also, we have the media one uh, with all the, of course, together, the videos and the photos and we also have the download folder right now so if you can download something from the browser for example that's where you're gonna find it in the location we're gonna have all the different folders so we have pictures for pictures movies for movies download for the items that you downloaded and on oculus well there you can find the screenshot the video shots so your videos and some avatar text stuff that I don't know what it is but probably we are not supposed to see this one. Uh, you can filter of course in a list so it's a bit more windowsy or in the grid and then you can sort it by the newest, oldest, largest and smallest. So very very easy uh, new file manager. It's very useful indeed and finally it's starting to arrive. And talking about great news, well your VR, uh, if you don't know about it, well it's that simulator that I actually tried, that did a second version of it and it started Kickstarter, actually reached 2.7 million investment from the Kickstarter. So the thing is gonna happen, it looks absolutely fantastic, I can't wait to try it out and uh, yeah I have the version number one I can't wait to see the improvement into version number two that seems to be much much better from every angle and actually looks amazing as well. The pre-orders are gonna start soon from the websites right now it's not possible yet uh, but yeah I'm very curious to see what's gonna be the real price, the retail price and not the Kickstarter one that started at $900. That was absolutely nuts, amazing. So super happy for them, I'm using my OVR pretty much all the time when I play uh, driving simulators and uh, yeah, this seems even better. So very looking forward to it. Are you interested in driving simulators and something like it? Let me know. And well, right now I want to take a moment to explain why I don't have a review of the HTC Vive Pro 2 yet. We don't have true lenses and stuff. Uh, well, those are gonna happen. I just need to find a way to get it. Uh, the problem that I'm moving, but I'm gonna tell you more uh, in the coming videos. So I can't really buy it right now. I'm gonna explain it better uh, later. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'm not able to buy it, even if I bought it, it would arrive at July and something, so very, very late. I'm trying to figure out what to do with them directly. I think that everyone wants to see it through the lenses video because, well, we can compare it with the original HTC Vive Pro, we can consider uh, compare it with the Cosmos, with the Index, or even with the Oculus Quest 2. I think that would be absolutely interesting to see it, but yeah, I don't have it yet. I'm gonna do it, I wanna see the thing in action, I wanna see those new lenses and stuff. And I know that the reviews don't sound very good uh, in most of the cases. Uh, I didn't create an idea yet on it, I just wanna try it as I always do and tell you my opinion. So it's something that is very important for me and I hope I'm gonna be able to fix this problem soon. But yeah, expect it a bit later but it's gonna arrive. But anyway, guys, this was the video. I think there were very interesting stuff to actually talk about. This new update for virtual desktop is just amazing, works very, very well. So if you have it already, 
yeah, there's another reason to use it instead of Airlink that at 120 Hertz, by the way, has a bit too much compression instead of the virtual desktop is looks a bit better. Uh, but yeah, that was all. So as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button in there. Let's all know further. Also the Patreon. Thanks to all the Patreon that support the channel, of course. And at the same time, we have t-shirt, sticker, mask, 2021, item number one. Uh, yeah, that's all. Very close, guys. Very close. <laughs> like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.